so whenever face value and the market value that is your face value and market value is given for the net proceeds calculation should always consider market value so what is market value 1050 so that is net proceeds what is the expenses that has been incurred so for that purpose you need to take up the face value so this is how we calculate hope the problem is very clear so whatever value you get you have to divide it with the denominator value so this is how you calculate hello everybody i am dr divya ma'am assistant professor from department of commerce and management lecturing with dhyashram first grade college mysuru the temple of excellence it's my honor and privilege to welcome you all for the session 6 on your unit 1 cost of capital so in the last class we have discussed the problems on redeemable debenture before tax and after tax we have discussed the formula and we have also discussed regarding the calculation of par premium and at a discount so when you are issuing at a par and when you are redeeming at a premium how to calculate this so issued at a par premium and discount redeemed at a par premium premium and discount so we have discussed this topic and the problems on that in the last class so in today's class also let us continue the problems on that for more clarity and better understanding moving forward the agenda for today's discussion concepts and again the problem so i'll be discussing again the market value problems today again i'll be discussing market value problems in today's class so let us read out the question and we are in the problem 6 so let us understand what is our problem 6 is all about and how can we provide the solution to that a 10 years 15 percent debenture so number of years is given means it is a redeemable problem a 10 years 15 percent debenture of rupees 1000 face value so 1000 rupees is what net proceeds redeemable at 10% premium so when you are redeeming you are redeeming at 10% premium with market value of 1050 so 1050 rupees is the market value so in the previous problem there was no market value given in the problem they were only given the net proceeds so based on that net proceeds we used to calculate we used to deduct the expenses and then we used to calculate the net proceeds now market value is given so there will be a dilemma for you people so when net proceeds is given market value is given so which to take up ma'am so always when net proceeds and the market value is given it is that you have to take up the market value for the calculation so market value will consider as a net proceeds we have a flotation cost of being 2% so 1050 rupees into 2% so what will be the expenses we have to see calculate the cost of debt so which debt it is redeemable debenture formula so tax rate is given no tax rate is not given so it is before tax formula so this is how you have to decide whether it is a after tax problem or a before tax problem so let us understand what is given in the question what is given first what is given number of years is given so what is number of years 10 years next what are the information has been given in your question so that is face value is given redeemable at 10% premium so uh, 1000 rupees into 10% it will be 1100 so 1000 into 10% 1000 100 rupees is the maturity value next what is given market value is given so whenever face value and the market value that is your face value and market value is given for the net proceeds calculation should always consider market value so what is market value 1050 so that is net proceeds so what is the expenses that is there 2% is the expenses so on your 1000 rupees you need to calculate your expenses on issuing value on the 
issuing value face value so on the issuing value rupees 1000 face value you need to calculate the expenses so i i'll repeat the point listen carefully so when you're calculating the expenses when market value is given it is always the face value you should consider for the calculation of expenses so face value is 1000 rupees on that 1000 rupees you are supposed to give 2% expenses so it is how much 20 rupees so you have to deduct the 20 rupees from the market value so your net proceeds will be how much it is 130 so net proceeds is 1030 your maturity value 1100 your number of years is 10 years let us calculate the interest so 15% interest so 15% interest means it will be around 150 so 15% into 1000 it will be how much it will be 150 so 150 is what 150 is the interest moving forward let us substitute all the values to the formula so interest is 150 plus maturity value is 1100 minus net proceeds is how much 1030 rupees divided by number of years is how much 10 years whole divided by maturity value plus net proceeds divided by so this is how you have to substitute what is the step one we need to follow solve the bracket first bracket part first the second step is the denominator bracket first and then whatever value you have got with that you are adding the interest and later you will be dividing with the denominator so that is how the calculation goes on now let's use the calculator and check out the answer 1100 minus 1030 it is 70 divided by 10. It is 7. 7 plus 150, 157 divided by 1100 plus 1030 divided by 2. It is 1065. So now 157 divided by 1065. The answer you get is 0 0.147. So what's the answer you get? 0 0.147 is the answer what we have got. So this is how you calculate. So I'll explain you all once again the problem number 6. So your market value. So in the previous problem up to problem 5 what we have solved in that market value was not given only the face value was given so on your face value we used to take when face value and market value together if it is given in the question we need to take up the market value for the calculation but for the expenses calculation you should always consider the face value why because on the face value or that is the issuing price when you are issuing the price what is the expenses that has been incurred so for that purpose you need to take up the face value so this is how we calculate hope the problem is very clear so this kind of problem you can expect in your examination for the calculation of par premium and at discount so in single problem only they'll ask you all to calculate the par premium and at discount issued at par redeemed at premium issued at discount issued at a redeemed at a Par. So like that par premium discount. So in that issuing and redeemable value you should calculate and then for that calculation you will get your 10 marks. Moving forward we have one more problem. So let us understand problem number 7. A 10 years amount 15% debenture of 2000 face value so 10 years again 10 years number of years is given so that is which problem redeemable debenture problem 15% is the interest rate 2000 is the face value which is redeemable at 5% discount so in the previous problem we have discussed on the redeemable value at a premium now redeemed at a discount with market value of 2050 
flotation cost being 3%, calculate the cost of debt, the tax rate is given at 30%. So, it is after tax problem. So, before tax also you need to calculate and then calculate the after tax problem. Let us write down the given first. Given is equal to, so number of years is given, number of years is 10 years and interest is 2000 into 15 percent. So, let us use the calculator. 2000 into 15 percent, it is 300. Your interest rate is 300. And what is the market price? Market value is given as I have told you, net proceeds will be 2050. But there is an expenses. What is an expenses that we have? 3% flotation cost. As I have told you, it has to be calculated on what? Face value. So, face value is 2000 into 3%. It is 60 rupees. So, 2050 minus 60 rupees, it is 1990. So, this is your net proceeds. What is the maturity value now? We need to calculate the maturity value. 5% discount. So, 2000 is the issuing value. So, 2000 into 5% it is 100. So, 2000 minus 100 it is 1900. So, 1900 is the maturity value. So, since we are issuing at a discount. Interest is how much? 300 plus maturity value 1900 minus net proceeds is 1990 divided by number of years is 10 years whole divided by maturity value plus net proceeds divided by 2. So, as I have told you, the step calculation has to be done. First is the bracket part. The second is denominator bracket part you need to calculate. Then you need to calculate the value along with the interest rate you need to add. Then this is the last step. So, whatever value you get, you have to divide it with the denominator value. So, this is how you calculate. So, let us use the calculator and check out the answer. 1900 minus 1990 it is minus 90 divided by 10. It is minus 9 plus into minus minus 300 minus 9. It is 291 divided by 1900 plus 1990 divided by 2. It is 1945. So, 291 divided by 1,945, it is 0 0.1496. So, what is the answer we get? The answer we get is 291 divided by 1,945, it is 0 0.19, 0 0.1496. So, this is the cost of debt calculation redeemable at a discount before tax problem. So, as an easy method, I have taught you after tax problem, but you have to show the calculation just for your easy calculation. So, what you need to do? If you just multiply this with the remaining tax rate, 1 minus 30% tax is how much? 0 0.30, 0 0.1 minus 0 0.30. So, if you deduct, the value will be 0 0.7. So, after tax calculation, I will just do it in the next slide. So, this is after tax. So, what is the formula? Cost of debt is equal to 1 minus tax rate interest plus maturity value minus net proceeds divided by number of years whole divided by maturity value plus net proceeds divided by 2. So, up to here the calculation is done, but the only calculation is 1 minus tax rate. 1 minus tax rate is 0 0.3. If you further calculate, the answer you get is 0 0.7 into the answer what you have got. So far, the calculation is done in the previous slide itself. The answer will be 0 0.149. So, 0 0.149. 149 
if you use it then the answer you get is 0 0.10 so how much the answer you get is 0 0.10 so 0 0.7 into 0 0.149 the answer you get is 0 0.10 that is 10 percent so this is the after tax answer that's it but in your examination you should not do like this you have to each and every step you need to follow away because uh, each and every step has a mark for that that is allotted so for that purpose everywhere you need to substitute the value everywhere you need to put answers just for your easy calculation i have shown you all so that's it for today's class hope the session was very interesting and fruitful my dear students in the next class we will take up the preference shares and the calculation of cost of preference shares will be discussing redeemable as well as irredeemable problem in the next class so until that stay tuned smile is the biggest jewel you can wear people keep smiling thank you